Hello friends. In this video, I want to tell you about feeding cucumbers that will increase your yield several times, as well as accelerate their growth. Because it happens at the beginning of the season. When cucumbers are still so small, this is especially true for cucumbers that you grow in the open ground. They grow very slowly, of course, there can be a lot of reasons why they do not grow well, this may be due to the fact that still cool nights, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, may also lack moisture. You water your cucumbers very little. Cucumbers when they are still so small, you need to water every day, in the evening, two quarts for at least each plant. But actually, when cucumbers grow very slowly, the harvest will be later, and of course less. Because the cucumber plant will be small, but weak. Here's a look at the cucumbers that grow in my greenhouse. I fed them this year with such top dressing. As you can see, they are already growing very large. Here's a look. Here they have already grown. So this top dressing is very useful for your cucumbers. Look and there are cucumbers here, and then there are already large cucumbers, and the bushes are still very small. If you do this top dressing now, then your cucumbers in the open ground will also grow quickly, and will delight you with an early and large harvest. I have already talked about a similar top dressing, but there I used dry yeast, and now in this video I will tell you how to use fresh yeast for this top dressing. Because it is under my video where I used dry yeast that the link leaves here in the upper right corner. There were many questions about how to use fresh yeast yourself. And to do this, we will need a container, at least with a volume of 1 quart, and we will also need fresh yeast. With a volume of 100 grams. The manufacturer is not important, but see how long they are suitable. Because if they are expired, the effect will be zero. They should be fresh. Here I have 100 grams, this is what fresh yeast looks like. They will make a lot of concentrate, and if you do not need so much, I will tell you later in the video how to prepare exactly as much concentrate as you need for your cucumbers. I cut them into particles so that they dissolve faster. It is also better that the water is warm, not hot, but warm, and not boiled. Now you need to knead them so that they dissolve. And to activate them, we will need sugar. I add 2 tablespoons, and also mix well. Fresh yeast is much better and easier to work with, because it dissolves very quickly. Now this container should be placed for 2 hours in a warm place, in my case it is a greenhouse. But you can't leave it in the open sun like this. You need to cover it with some larger container, and it is better that it is dark, so that there is a high temperature, but there is no direct sunlight. Because ultraviolet light will kill yeast fungi. And we don't need that. We need a violent reaction. We wait for 2 hours, then continue cooking. And look after 2 hours how much fermentation is going on. We mix it well again. This means that our yeast works, and we will see the effect very quickly on our cucumbers. Now we will need 10 quarts of clean water. I will tell you about the second bucket now. We take it and pour it in all our yeast as in 10 quarts of water. Why did we need to first prepare the solution in a small container? First of all, in such a container it was very easy to dissolve yeast, and it was easier to activate them with sugar, and in such a large bucket, even if we mixed thoroughly, the yeast would still take a very long time to dissolve. Mix well. Also, the water should be at an outdoor temperature of about 65 or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Also in this bucket. And why do we need it, because we prepared the concentrate. And this concentrate is enough for us to feed 100 plants, and those who have watched the video up to this point. I want to tell you that this top dressing can feed not only cucumbers, but also peppers, eggplants, watermelons, melons, zucchini, and your other plants, as well as flowers. Except tomatoes. Tomatoes should not be fed with this. Because they will grow very rapidly. They will start to fatten up. And we don't need that. Because we want to get a large crop of tomatoes, not a thick trunk and a lot of leaves. Now we take one quart of this concentrate and pour it into 10 quarts of pure water. Also mix. And this is already a ready-made top dressing, which is enough for 10 plants, I think you understand everything by the proportions. Here we have 10 quarts of concentrate, one quart of which we add to 10 quarts of water and then water one quart for each plant. If you don't need that much. For example, you have only 10 plants that you need to feed. Then you do not take 100 grams of fresh yeast, but only 10 grams. Dissolve and activate with sugar in one quart of water. Infuse for 2 hours, and pour into 10 liters of water. And you get ready-made top dressing, which is enough for 10 plants. If you need 20 plants, 
Then take 20 grams, and dissolve in 2 liters of water. Stand for 2 hours, and already add these 2 quarts to 20 quarts of water. And so you choose your volume. Also, if you have not had rain, then your cucumbers should be watered with water before feeding. At least a little, and let the water soak in. This should be done so that our top dressing penetrates faster and deeper under the root system of cucumbers, and begins to act faster. Well, now under each plant I pour one quart of ready-made top dressing. As you have already understood, this is our growth stimulator. Because yeast is fungi, koi are very voracious, and in the process of their vital activity they emit carbon dioxide. And also process food from the soil into easily accessible for the root system of cucumbers. Therefore, Cucumbers after this top dressing will quickly begin to absorb nutrition from the soil. They will start to grow rapidly. Lay a large and environmentally friendly crop. And you will get your harvest earlier. And also twice as much. And such top dressing should be done once a season at the beginning of the growing season of cucumbers, as well as other plants that you will feed. Thus, we populate yeast bacteria in the soil, and then we will need to apply complex fertilizers to our plants once every two weeks, which we have fed with a yeast growth stimulator. And the composition of fertilizers should be made of phosphorus, potassium and magnesium. We won't need nitrogen anymore. The yeast will provide it for us. I also want to draw your attention to the fact that you will see a quick effect from this top dressing with yeast if you already have stable warm weather during the day at 77 or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and at night it is already about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeast at this temperature multiplies very quickly and works. Providing our cucumbers with all the nutrients and available substances. And if it's still cool outside, then you won't see the effect right away, and it will appear very slowly. Therefore, I would recommend using this top dressing when the heat has already come. So friends who still have questions, leave them in the comments section below this video. I'm done here. I wish you a quick and big harvest. And see you in the new videos.